So what type of frog are they, Cam? The plains froglet. I... The plains froglet. Plains froglet. I've forgotten the botanical name. I'd have to go and look it up. Okay. But it's the first one to start, for the male to start sending out its mating call. Okay, it first usually, one of the sort of the season, is it? Yes, it's usually the end of July, middle of July, end of July, when the plains froglet starts croaking, and that's yep. the male calling the females. Okay. Now, if we wait about another four weeks, it'll be the little marsh frog. I think he's Tasmaniensis limnodynastes, very fancy name. Yep. And he has the ordinary croak. Okay. Like the rabbit the sort of. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it'll start up, and then it's usually late September, early October. Yep. And it'll be on a rainy night um, that the tree frogs start. Okay. And we have tree frogs in Wagga. Uh, yeah. Ours is Perrin's tree frog. Okay. It's sometimes called the maniacal cackle frog. Okay. Uh, it's quite gorgeous and I've, it'll be often, oh, you'll see it sitting probably in a fork like that. See it sitting in the tree? Yes. Okay, even um, in a gum tree? Oh yes, yes. I've seen it sitting um, all around the boundary to this um, dam. Okay, and if we, if and we it's went... after seven o'clock at night. If yes. we went walking around the dam now, would we be able to find any of these plains frogs or are they really well hidden? They're only about that big. Yeah, wow. They're little brown ordinary frogs. Okay. But they and they have a call that's a bit like a bird. Yeah. Man. And hey. so how do they fit into the this sort of almost microclimate that we have at the dam here? Do they rely on that water in the dam? They do, but they also rely on having quite a bit of litter around. They love being under logs, uh -huh. under leaves, that sort of thing. Um, and they'll travel oh, one to two kilometres towards water. And what do they eat? Uh, insects, yep. mainly. Um, okay. yeah. So I notice our dam has a lot of those insects because of the water, I suppose. The yes. insects like the water to reproduce or something yes. like that? Like there'll be larvae, there'll be um, dragonfly larvae, all sorts of larvae in around here. Yep. And very soon, oh, I'd say beginning of September, you'll start to see dragonflies everywhere here. Yeah. And you'll have the blue ones and the red ones. Okay. You better go and look up that sort of stuff. Okay, no worries. Okay.